Well then, previously on Valkyria Chronicles 3, The Unrecorded Chronicles, we are Kurt Irving, Lanceal graduate valedictorian. He's he's a genius, a well-to-do guy while just earning his stripes in the in the Galleon army, making a name for himself. But uh-oh, he was framed for a thing he didn't do by, by a higher up. That's bad, so they put him in the penal squad, the nameless. He's not happy about that. But now he has to make do with the bad luck he's been given, and has to make nice with all the people that are there who don't exactly all trust him. So they're warming up to him though, bit by bit, but still, he's only gotten five of the, like, several characters that are here. Number seven has it rough, as usual. At least we have Gooserg on our side. Blessed man. So, I did do some grinding off screen, get used to him saying that. Um, something in particular as well, I did a free map here, retake the outpost. Uh, this is the one I really like doing as well, just for fun. This is a pretty fun a string you can do in five turns, and uh, there's a ace here, a great Kita. If you beat him, he's a scout, he drops the Herver scout weapon, which is basically much like the ZMX car we picked up, but less status, but more actual power with seven shots and quite accurate still. This this mission is also pretty good on uh, displaying, giving experience in ducats for this point in the game. They're just like very early, but it's, yeah, quite nice. I also spent the grand majority of uh, that map training up Kurt as a scout. Well, I swapped it back to, I believe I've already swapped it back to being a shock trooper for this. I also redid the APC trial. Nice S rank. Got the S rank. As well as the supply line mission, and got uh, the Xenox car again. And everything else has been uh, a little bit bumped up. I also managed to clear out the shop. A lot nice. of money I, I uh, bought, and I still have some left over. Alright, let's go on to chap uh, chapter 2. Captain Exemplar, an Imperial squad has been spotted all in the village near Aslan. Light tank companies a squad defeat the enemy tank commander pilot in the tank in Area 1. Several troops have already deployed to assist in the combat with the enemy. Lead your squad to victory. There's Scout, Shock, and Light Tank Type A. Beat the Light Tank boss to win. It wouldn't be a Valkyria Chronicles game if there weren't any Super Saiyans in it. Trust me, we'll get your we'll get your fair share. Nice to say, this is probably the most Super Saiyan of them all. Indeed. Well, at least so far. Alright, Riel and Inka are away on the other opposite team. We'll give them a little bit of offense with Felix. And. Yeah, I think I'll have to join them. Also, the other team. It's still so weird for me to be able to know that you can fill all of the slots Ali. up instead of having to. And set. And Julia and Kurt's not a uh, shock yet. Back from here, though. Easy. Nice. Oh, yes! Uh, one other thing I wanted to uh, mention. I did pick up an accessory between that map with Great Kita in it. Uh, has it? Did you well, I got. I, I got yeah, I, I got a I got an accessory called the uh, ribbon. Only certain characters can equip it, but it gave it a gave a nice bit bonus. Okay, here we go. The red bandana, ten HP versus five versus smell, five sweat versus smell, and armor. How's it? There you go. Engine or something. Okay. Oh, wait, I gotta check the SR requirement is three turns for this. Oh yeah, one last thing. I uh set this on uh Earth. Change potentials? Yeah. Because yeah, while while he was a scout. Yeah. While he was a scout, he learned uh, sighting. 
Sighting is pretty common for uh, just to have as a base accuracy boost, by the way, since it's very easy to learn. All you need to do is just have a chance to learn it is just run into a bunch of enemies and, sc and scout them, and then you just have it. And it's just a free general accuracy boost to have, so yeah, if you just want to just make your dudes a little bit more accurate as a free potential, go on, make them a scout for a little bit, give them sighting, and then bam. I still love that riff. It's a good riff. All set. Oh, so, now yeah, here. now we get the introduction to morale. I didn't go over this last time. Morale actually increases slower in this game than it did in VC2. So, uh, getting to max morale is very, very rare. Unless the mission happens to be very uh, long in the tooth. But again, if morale goes to zero, you lose automatically. This guy is in shock. One by the camp. And a scout. That's okay. Leave Serg. Marked units. Hey, my goop! It's moving! No, no, boys! Don't touch that stuff! I love wild arms. Wild arms rules, Ron. Thank you. The, mortar, uh, the tank mortar is very strong in this game. You could. Also, I am not used to the CP marker being on the right side of the name box. Ali. <laughs> 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 Curse of the RNG. Imp goes up the back, while Riel is on the other side. That's rather humorous. Something, something, cat fight? Not quite yet. Through me now, nerds. Shield so strong it can clip through sandbags. Really? Hmm, should I went for the back. Remove CP. Tank over there. Yes, that is Yuichi Nakamura as Kurt's uh, VA. What an idiot! I love it when the guy just goofs in front of the armor tech in this. It's just so free. 
It's so free. Oh, we never claimed the Imperials were smart. Shot wide. Julio's on this side, huh? Resurrection. That is some far range. Yeah, 100 range is pretty nice. Frog of Mysterious Body. I'll be taking that, thank you. Take that count. Front liberated. That would have been much smoother if I hadn't gotten those curls, curls earlier. I said the boss stink. I'm back. I was also muted. Don't worry about that. You're alright, Ron. <laughs> I didn't insult anyone in present company. Mm hmm? If it didn't happen, if it didn't anyway. happen, then it didn't happen. Don't worry about it. Local AI, bleh, local AI continues not to learn. How do we get around this shield? I don't believe it. They just call a bunch of other dudes over trying to figure out how to do it. Hi, hi. You're not all answer anymore. Right. 
Blast. Blast. Easy. Wow. I like how they said two tanks, but there's only one on this front. Keeping you on your toes. Thanks, Alto. Can't wait to see you in Xenoblade 3. Did I see correctly that you get penalized if uh, you don't rescue an ally before the map ends? You get penalized if the units go down. Okay. That's how I was in VC2 as well. In this game, you get penalized more if, uh, if you uh, get more than one due down. Okay. Fucking normies, listen to me more often. Except for Kurt himself, but it's okay, you were on the case, Julia. みんなこの程度で認めていいのか。何俺もまだ実戦経験は浅い。この程度の戦闘権は。反省点は徹底的に検証して、次の戦いでは修正したい。I, I only remember that because Yuichi Nakamura is one of his favorite voice actors. <laughs> Man, you, respect, you explained that to me in a rational way. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I think you guys are too used to freaks. <laughs> Cheers. Fifteen。エイミーアップルです。よろしく隊長さん。すぐ I wasn't on the side where he showed up. Who cares? Fifty six no you told her. Oremo Moscos Shinchoni Handan Stai Tokoda. Twenty one no Kandaiwa Motomoda. Oremo Ichido no Seiko de Zain Karasinai Sareo to Omana. Fifty six to twenty one wa for you to you koto de Tada Oreni Moichido Shikisu Kikayo at I take credit to Ariatai. So the Kurana at Destiny. いいぜ。今回は悪くなかったし、やる気もあるみたいだしな。あ。でも、サーティンと一緒に出撃するのだけは勘弁な。そうですね。まだ死ぬわけにはいかないですから。I don't want to die. That number 13 is unlucky after all. サーティンがどうかしたのか。There it goes. 知らないんですか、隊長。死神って正規軍では有名じゃないのかな。細かいことはサーティン本人から聞いてくれよな。いや、そうです。ask では君たちのナンバーを教えてくれ。スリー、ババアで悪かったね。うん。俺はナンバーを聞いただけだが。おめけウィアルグランニー。おいおい、そこは美しいレディしか見えないと返すのがレイディだぜ。レディ。言っている
中国の文才で私より先に名乗るとはいい度胸ねいやいやナイトはクイーンの前に立つものだぜ Nice textbox clip いって言ったばかりじゃないの教育が足りてないわおほっこうしてナイトはクイーンのために強くなっていくのか何なんだ一体 So this is the,、uh, the relationship This is it は23いずれ大陸の頂点に立つ女ダメな男は即教育よ As expected of Sigiri Sakurai どういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ教育ってどういう意味だ Also, hot discount, Muriel. Wakiakuat Sangio de Matomena Sayo. Da so this mother. Two elbow to the Kemosia get a damaro Kasira. Corre the Zain セブンにどの程度の教育が必要かダメ具合を見てあげてもいいわ僕は体調が悪くて寝込んでいただけなので今回はぜひ<笑>私も最優先の研究が一区切りついたから全然問題ないわ私は体調はグスルブがいいと思うがねまあ骨のあるところ見せてみな一応戦闘参加の同意は得られたということでいいんだなそうだな前の5人も今度の戦火に注目している抜かるなよ分かっているこれより遊撃戦任務を開始するオペレーションビギンズニュー Ranching path. So we have the five members that just spoke out Alphonse, Serge, Layla, Loria, and Valerie. The squad grows. So your first branching path, and this is、uh, important because in this chapter, we uh, both uh, missions have two different aces、hmm. with two different drops. I can get both drops that are offered here later. The one that is more later than the other. That's interesting. So, A mission A is Forest Raid. Bolt from the Forest and the Master of Aslan Scouts and Car Imperial Convoy. The enemy's likely shipping weapons and ammunition to the front line to stop them to destroy the supply crate in Area 5. Several troops have already deployed to assess the combat and the enemy. Lead your squad to victory. It's Mash the Hunter.、Uh, I do believe this one you can get the ZMMP Shock Trooper weapon. But if you don't get it here, you can get it again in Chapter 4. And here, Canyon War. We'll patrol in this canyon in the outskirts of Aslan, Scouts of Encounter, and Imperial Convoy. Same as before, but this time we gotta go get、uh, destroy crates. And we get. J.O. Thurg, I believe, is a tank、uh, ace. If、uh, when they drop a tank weapon, if you don't get the one this map, you have to.、Uh, the next chance you have is、uh, chapter eight. I'm going to be going for this one. Makes sense. Shark Trooper guns are a dime a dozen. Next is a、uh, SAS resistance. 
Okay, now for the new blood we got. Alphonse. He's a big chunky dude. He's quite fun. Uh, he has among the highest HP of the characters who are baseline scouts. But his accuracy takes a hit in uh, exchange. Still, if you want a scout that is sturdy and take, can take punishment, Alphonse is your dude. I like his design. He's cool. He's he and Felix are among bases for like the ROM hack of nameless heroes and characters that they use there. I Isn't made it? that connection as soon as I saw him in this. <laughs> I think I remember that. Yeah. The nameless heroes is uh, largely inspired by uh, this game entirely, including the name, and it's one of the like is it. the main ROM hack I'm looking forward to now. Now that Secret Echoes is almost done. So Alphonse is a gentleman. When nearby allies, accuracy goes up. A keen mind, accuracy goes up if he's the first or second due to take action. In the turn, and self-conscious. When under central fire, evasion goes down. Well, those first two were really good. The second one's kind of... Mm. Alphonse is, uh... He, uh, personal, or her preferred classes are Scout and Armor Tech. Long and Cubic Scout. Mm, Surge. He's an NG to start off with. His HP is quite low, but he's very accurate. Among the highest in the, of, of the crew. He's got a hidden wow. spirit. Defense increases when enemy units outnumber the ally units in the area. He's got soldier's pride. When under a separate fire, defense goes up. He has a frail body. Defense goes down when, HP, when AP is half or less. And lost future. Accuracy also decreases when AP is half or less. Best to keep him around the NG and try to learn some of the stuff here first, because his other preferred class is Sniper, and he's among the best in the game as a Sniper. So, Leila Perron, Homer's sister from VC1. Yeah. Why, why he gets the whole masochist streak is because of her. She, she implies in living with education. She's a sadist. Anti-infantry attack power goes up at the start of an attack. We're calling her little brother, being on any soil or grass or sand terrain, raises defense. She's got temper. Once surrounded by three more enemy units, defense goes down. She has pretty general stats overall, even like decent HP and accuracy for a shock. I believe her other uh, preferred class is Lancer. So having her decent HP would make her a satisfying Lancer. I might make her a Lancer, actually. I don't, I don't really need any more shocks right now. Gloria! She's a base Lancer as well. As you can see, her uh, HP is very low, but her accuracy is very good for a Lancer. Which is good because you know, this, this lady needs to hit dudes in the back, otherwise, if she goes up too front, it's gonna be really bad. She has Shadowy Links! Anyway, uh, finding a nighttime environment increases anti infantry power. A big sister, when close to al allies, anti infantry power increases. She's got a bad back. Defense decreases when crouched for cover. Her preferred classes are Lancer and Gunner. And lastly, Valerie, uh, who is basically Muriel, like full stop. And this is before Awakening. Not even subtle. Uh, low HP, but decent, but decent high accuracy. How that's how it goes with her. She's composed. Accuracy goes under a separate fire. A genius girl. Gen uh, set chance of time for all stats to go up. Chatterbox. Accuracy decreases around close friends. And a curious mind. Amazing skills go down when setting new enemies. Her preferred classes are Scout and Engineer. Oh, that's that. For you. I like her design. Good. And I'll make you NG right now. Because I have, I'm gonna keep up having the scouts, and I'll have enough for in a while. As long as long as my uh, main core of shocks was fine, and a set Annika, Felix, and Kurt, I should be good for there for now. Until like the more until the others uh, that you get later up show up. Let's see if they more stuff showed up. In the shop.
And now we wait. And now we play the waiting game. Okay, let's do 2B, Canyon War. So enemies here are Scout, Shock, Lance, and Light Tank Type A. Destroy the crate that's there. Run the map. Frank is two turns. Time to go fast. Gotta go fast. Oh, speaking of which, Sonic Frontiers is out. Yes, it is. And the reviews are as mixed as a Sonic game could be. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's just the cycle. That's all you got. I, I'm gonna put the mixed feeling on Sega and how they showcase the game before, like, launch. Because I've yeah. been watching a couple of reviews, and the reviews I saw of people just, like, actually playing the game made it look a lot better than those trailers did. Yeah, there, there, there was one review where that kind of showcased a lot of pop-in, but, uh... I haven't heard about that from other reviews, so... I'm just going to put that up to early copy. That's also possible, yeah, if, it, if there was a day one patch that fixed stuff. Yeah, it happens all the time. Telling us about how NG is working the container. The containers are sturdy and have tank-like defense, but armor techs can do good damage to them, which is pretty neat. Nameless tank uh, here has rock breaker, so I can break through the rocks up here and get through this camp, camp, though I don't really need to. And here's the container. It's down on the bottom there. Shock and a crouching lancer. Get him. Instant sighting. Ah, that was a mine. I did not see that. Unlucky. Bad form, bad form. Kurt, help me out. Back is exposed. Monriella, how about our new friend? Taking 
Get it back up. Rebounded nicely. It. Are those sandbags in water? Yes. They are indeed in water. Good to know. Also, side question. If you don't have Kurt deployed when a phase starts, do you lose the CP? No, he is, he is not kind of a count, uh, CP unit right now. Oh, okay. Weird. Yeah, yeah that is kind of weird. Despite being the protagonist. He will eventually, but not right now. Maybe it's because they don't trust him at all. Yeah, he has to earn that, he has to earn that rep. Yeah. There's the ace, by the way. I thought we were through with explosives being pinpoint accurate, but I guess I was wrong. Oh no, we're never gonna leave that land. It's with us until we die. We'll kill him. Okay, good. Enemy just hide in the have, grass. The enemy lancers have hit scan weapons. I like that. Take good care of your tank, please. Repair if, you ne if necessary. It is, in fact, a delicate piece of equipment. And it must be returned in pristine condition, otherwise the quartermaster will be unhappy. Good evening. Hello, Chris. Greatest. Good evening. Good evening. I am almost done with my assignment. I just need to think of what the heck to write. <laughs> like three lines. Wow, that is a strong man. Just take that. Don't even flinch. He's built oh, different. I'll take it with my chest. It was definitely built different. <laughs> nice. Hammer breaks the crate. Easy game. Hansei mo ariga. Good. 
We got an APMG for our results. I think wow. that's pretty good uh, for this point in the game. It'll be a class soon, but if I want my tank to do some real uh, Soviet damage for anti-armor, I see this as an absolute win. I do enjoy this presentation. It's very good. Yeah. どうだった。感想を聞かせてくれ。想像していたより良かったわ。指示も的確だったし。Except for Alphonse was tripping on a mind, but shh. That's Alphonse。少し攻撃的でもいいかなって思いました。十分です。物足りないね。まあ、まだ伸びしろはありそうだがね。She knows. あんたには戦車の操縦もあるからね。二役やらせるより<笑><笑> ワルクないわよ。みんなの意見をデータとして統合すれば答えはもう出ているよな。11。アルフォンスを送れるだ。ガリアの早草と呼んでくれ。ゆるべきガリアンパラケンのメイン。これは敵の中断より効くぜ。
I look away from the screen and I look back. Is are they talking? <laughs> oh wait, is that the same voice actor? No way. Yeah, it is. Uh... I heard her open her mouth and I was like, oh, that's Ellie. <laughs> right, if you show up tomorrow, you're gonna see Ellie. You're gonna hear that same voice. <laughs> <laughs> also, the, um... The sadist, what's her name? Layla? Uh, Layla. Yeah, uh, sh she's Josette. <laughs> oh. Fuck. Fuck.前の隊長が死んだのは、サーティーンさんと一緒に行動したからなのに。全滅は誤解だが、隊長は6人殺してるんだぞ。正気とは思えねえ。あの、やっぱりやめた方が。一つ言っておく。この隊には余らせておける戦力など存在しない。もしどうしてもサーティーンの出撃を拒否するのなら
Thanks, Jason. I almost forgot about that. We are yeah. actively not doing this again. Check rankings for S rank. And do that quick. Speaking more is pointless. Well, that's no way to get people to join your cause, Kurt. Four turns. Yeah. You gotta go up and recruit some people. Yeah. Third thing is that he's a realist through and through. It's like, hey, if you got time to do this, you got time to fight, so. He'd be a terrible Fire Emblem <laughs> character. <laughs> 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 It's kind of like what Ike does, though. He recruits people on the battlefield. He goes does. up and talks to them. Yeah. I guess you're right. That shield is still so cool. Yep, there's the ace. To destroy the windmill? Yes. Mmm, already. We're not evil. We don't want to blow windmills up. What if these are evil windmills? Mm hmm Well, you know what happened to Don Quixote, right? <laughs> yeah, he defeated all the evil windmills. And then he probably became a faith character. Yeah, he you know what? He, he actually isn't yet, surprisingly. Yeah, well, eventually. Eventually it'll happen. <laughs> hey, Zeranius. It's going good. What the? Hello. Can you actually shoot through the shield on interception? Yes, but uh, it won't do anything. It'll just block it. You locked. Oh, I see. So it's kind of a... Yeah, you need it. Yeah, you need it. It is double edge. Good for the second dudes that can't fight back, though. 
It's literally the opposite of a double-edged sword. It's a shield. It's a double-edged shield. <laughs> it's like a no-edged shield. They've been doing things before Nintendo yet again. They uh, they did Age of Slash before Age of Slash. It's just kind of Roger yeah, Reinhardt, except the shield is not as big, and you can't move with it, and you can't shoot through it. So really, it's just a shitty Reinhardt. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, speaking of which, Ray, uh, they revealed the next Overwatch character, and you might get a kick out of his backstory. What's that? Uh, he's basically an Omnic. Uh, Omnics are basically robots that are made by humans. Oh, they, okay. Yeah. Uh, they were at one point made to serve, you know, as like servants, waiters, you know, bodyguards, all that. And even go to war. Amazon workers. Yeah, Amazon workers. <laughs> uh, they, they even go to war, and eventually uh, the Omnic Crisis happened, where they started rebelling against their human, uh, the human creators. And uh, you know, Overwatch stepped in to quell that crisis. Well then. Uh, yeah. Uh, eventually, some of the Omnics became uh, monks to sort of help uh, bridge the gap of peace between humanity and Omnics. And uh, because of that, uh, nice shot. <laughs> the hell are you doing, guy? Uh, Get him to the tank. <laughs> because of that, uh, you know, there's, there's, uh, you know, Mexican live in peace. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so now they're, they're acting like normal people for the most part, but you know how people are, racism exists, and uh, Omics keep uh, getting attacked for, uh, you know, for their past deeds. Shit sucks, I get it. Yeah. Uh, so they're then, robot darks. Yeah, kinda. Uh, so the character's name is Ramatra, and he was an Omnic monk. Uh, he was also made to serve in war, but eventually became a monk. And uh, while his brothers tried to go the peaceful route, eventually he kind of had enough. He was like, you know what, I'm just going to make an organization. I'm going to gather my brothers together and we're going to go to war with humanity. Cheers. Kind of sounds like Roid Mutes, doesn't it? Yes, <laughs> yes it does. Thanks, this Drive. Is, this guy is basically heart. And uh, the extra kicker is Roid Mutes are finites or Omnics, because they don't make them anymore. Ramatra's, pre Ramatra's presence is also uh, the team finally progressing the story. So that's nice. Well, well, it is a sequel. They should be doing that. It, it is a sequel. And they did say they were doing that. So I'm happy. Let me get a design, actually. This is actually pretty cool. Here he is. You <laughs> He, he makes me think of uh, the uh, the leader of the Urukai from the first Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah, kind of. He's a tank, by the way, even though if he doesn't look like it. I think Ray said one was his favorite. Yeah, one is my favorite. It's a very good choice, if you ask me. One is my favorite. Uh, three is my uh, well, the game I would rank as the best one. <laughs> very nice. I see what you mean about the the morale, not like going crazy because I feel like in two whenever you blew up a tank you get like an instant one full morale. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot slower building in this game. Yeah. Two is my favorite 
for several reasons. One's really close, and I haven't played enough of four or three to put them up. But I feel like I'd jive with three at least. Defense, that's cool. I defense. Side, uh, make sure side defense the same as your front defense. Stat, stat wise. Oh, oh nice. What was, the turn, what was the turn count for this map? Four. Four? Okay. Good. I'm making a ton. Miss. They turned oh, a hit scan. <laughs> they turned a hit scan off of that rocket. <laughs> you know that should be very effective. What's a headshot? Nah, it could your only hair. be a headshot. Nah, what grace your hair. Don't worry about it. It just gave her a scratch on her cheek. Yeah. She'd be kind of into that, though. She is a sadist. That's not how it works. I know. That's the opposite. <laughs> yeah, that's a masochist. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's just my mind. Could I? Ah. Ah. Wait, they have a demo for Dear Days? Oh yeah, I, I uh, heard that the, they had a demo out, yeah. That's on Steam. Holy shit, I gotta check that out. Ron immediately downloads. <laughs> I've been waiting for a Car 5 Vanguard uh, game for a while. There you go. Maybe I should try it out just to learn how it works. It's a fun game. It's very different, I'll say that. If you're expecting Yu-Gi-Oh, expect to be disappointed. <laughs> I've been playing Marvel. From what little I've seen of it, it place, feels so. more like Cypher, I think. Yeah, uh, I'll probably stream the demo. Not tonight, but some other time. Tomorrow? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, just replace the trail stream. Oh, no, that's not <laughs> <laughs> Not after the story we build up to. Yes. Finally, trade conference time. Yeah. How exciting. We're going yeah. to a trade conference. Yeah. And we got warnings from like right. two or three royals that something might happen. Don't worry about it. It's gonna be like an entire session of just voice acting, so. Oh, it's gonna be fun. And then we'll be one third of the way through the game. Hey, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna predict what's gonna happen. So, we're gonna get to the trade conference. We're gonna be on security. They're going to be in the building, and then a dude is going to throw a fruit through the window. Okay. From where? They're like, however many feet up in the air that would be. Uh... Like, we're literally in the tallest <laughs> building on the planet right he's now. Got a, he's got a <laughs> hell of a throwing arm, let me tell you what. <laughs> yeah. He's just winding up in... Do I stab a little effective range? I am. Anyway, long story short, the Kessa guy in the day saved. And Gilly of Osborne goes home, and we never speak of this again in a gold steel. Yeah. Anyway, no, I have no idea what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Ooh. I do know what I do know what's gonna happen. Lloyd's gonna play Puyo Puyo at some point. 
Kim Nay Puyo Puyo Puyo. Ray, we did the Puyo Puyo boss. Oh, you did? You did? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was uh, very out of nowhere, and I almost lost a second time. You did lose once. I did lose once, and then I fucked up near the end, and it turns out, oh, no, I didn't fuck up. I just win. <laughs> yeah. Puyo Puyo is weird. Counter, so, you know, it wasn't... It wasn't difficult. Yeah. You sure made it seem like it was difficult. <laughs> well, I mean, it's a boss fight. That's with true. extra special oh, music. Yeah. And he was holding back. Oh, I'm sure. He didn't even <laughs> have his uh, picture up. It was quite high stakes player for him, because if we lost, we would have burned. I mean, I guess we would have exploded to death. So, Ray, picture this. What if we're in a Saw film, but instead we have to play Puyo Puyo to save our lives? Spooky. <laughs> He's not I, feel like, I feel like Jigsaw would make a uh, an overpowered opponent. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is high. Well, you got him to turn around at least. Yeah. Uh, he stays that way. Well, at least there won't be a Trails game next year. Oh, yeah, it's East. Japan. In Japan. Yeah. The the East Road Bros finally got what they wanted. Yeah. Good that we at least we get at least some time to try and play catch up. Yeah. Uh I'm hoping to be done with Reverie by the time Kuro is out. It should be, yeah. Yeah. My goal my goal is to get the group to Reverie and then after that, oh it's just whatever, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Oof. Ouch, that was really close. It was. That defense drop. You're playing a very dangerous game of dodgeball, right? Oh, oh yeah. And he caught over. the ball. You caught the ball. And explode. It's the ball. Bomb? If you can dodge a missile, you can dodge a ball. I didn't well, select Riola once this entire mission. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Nor Imka. No. Don't worry about it. it. Riola has her uses right now because she's a medic, because she's an engineer. Imka is very hard to use right now. Oh, you actually do get slightly punished if you have one down. Mm hmm. Do 5 EXP and like 500 Dukats. <laughs> That's okay. how we're back. I'm gonna make a sandwich. オッケー、結果に不満のあるものは。全然ないですよ。すごいです、クルトさん。尊敬しちゃいます。この結果は、さすがに認めなきゃいけねえな。招待戦闘において、個々の能力が戦果を左右するのは事実だ。だが、一
俺はこの422部隊を正常な部隊にするために必要なことをしただけだ君が他の隊員と連携すれば作戦の幅が広がり部隊はより強くなる当たり前のことじゃないかそうですそうですけどそうじゃなくて何がそうじゃないんだ私嬉しかったんですとってもあれからみんなが私に話しかけてくれたんです全員じゃないですけど私こんな容姿だから幼い頃からずっと変な目で見られてきましただけどさっき初めて意外と普通だなって言われたんですよ体調のおかげです私それが嬉しくて泣いているのかサーティーンリエラって呼んでくださいそれともしよかったらクルトって呼んでもそれはいいが泣いているのかリエラ泣いちゃダメですかもう意地悪なんですねクルトは I'm not crying you're crying Hey, hey teenage player aren't you in love with her Now that you've seen her cry don't you want to love and protect her Isn't she your waifu now Don't tell me how to play the game Chris That's the uh, that's the developers of the game Don't tell me how to play the fucking game Oh, and when Ron gets back and pulls up the uh, the guidebook, we'll, we'll see if the developers actually said that. I mean, I uh, I can imagine we won't be able to read it for at least a bit. Ace, Dana. Ace. Ore no mita kagiri dewa, kanojo ga motto mo heishi toshite sugureta nouryoku o motte iru. However, she has not yet moved. After that performance two maps ago, she left the guy with 5 HP. Yeah, that's the problem. I'm not going to talk. So we got four battles this chapter. Before that, we can get an optional uh, cutscene. Shutsugeki mai ni ace no yosu o kakuni shite oku ka. Let us go see ace no imu ka. Asuro no kyoten kouryaku. Koko nara tegotai no aru yatsu to tatakaeru ni chigai nai. Koko ni ita ka, ace? Kyou no sentou dewa kimi ni... Nai. Nope. 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 ないと思ったかなかなかの身のこなしだが俺も追跡には自信がある君自身は身軽でもその個性的な武器の重量が深く足跡を残す原因となる何も話すことはない君から何かを聞こうと思ったわけじゃない伝えることがあっただけだ必要ない俺も他人に干渉されるのは好きな方じゃないが俺以上だな君はお前に興味はない分かった必要なことだけ伝えておくアスロンの拠点攻撃ではエースの戦闘力を前提に陣を組む頼むぞ自分には関係ない結局最初から最後まで内づくしかここまで徹底するとはよほどの理由があるのか興味深いな
in fairness to Imka, the mission that she's assigned with, any Lancer could really do, but they're just gonna make a big deal of it because it's her, obviously. Oh, have you seen, yeah. Have you, have you seen her? And her gun? <laughs> By the way, Ron, she voices another trans character. Ah, fuck off. I mean, cool. <laughs> Who is it? Riella voices Ellie. And Imka voices Noel. Well, damn. There you go. In the same game, no less. Yeah. By the way, I'm sorry, to I'm, I'm sorry I told you to fuck off. I didn't mean it. Anyway. Imka also happens to be the voice of Calvina in Moon Brothers, which is very fitting. It sure is. She seems to be, uh... Well, I was gonna say she, I was gonna say she seems to be attracted to voicing that kind of character, but Noelle's not a... not a bitch. <laughs> Howdy, Stephanie. So it looks like we are going to Aslone now. Need eat now? Ace ability. Your mission is to capture Aslone City. The enemy is cornered and will soon launch a final counteroffensive. Need your two squads and occupy the base camp in Area 4. Scout, Shock, Lancer, and Light Tank it. A, type A. Zuki Sage is our ace today. So go capture the base camp. We lose if Inka goes down. If memory serves, this, this is actually a, not, not a bad idea if you wanted to try out the APC uh, mo uh, form for your tank. If you want to just get your uh, du the dudes in this camp, uh, this side, up, fr up farther, because they have a long uh, trek ahead of them. But I believe there's, uh, there's a good chance that there's a tank in the middle section there. So, do that at your own discretion. I'm just gonna keep sticking with the tank because it's me. I'm always gonna pick the tank. Tank boy. Tank was your APC's a loser. APC's a loser. Play on this end. And surge. Alley. Triple A squad. That's when I guess four turns. Well, by the time we play VC4, APC is going to be seeing a lot of use because it's really incredible in that game. They actually did something great and they let you use the APC and the tank. What's that? Buff them and how? What, what, pretty much the main buff is just they get they allow you to use both it and another vehicle, I mean, your main tank at the same time, instead of just only one at a time. So here's where Imka makes her grand play here. She's right behind this tank here. Then that's just immediately up front, and then there's another tank right there, which is just Peachy King. It's just mm, put in a good spot for uh, problems. So yeah, this one is down eight instantly. It's just this one's gonna be a problem to take out. I'm for bloodthirsty. 
And here's the base camp we need to take. I believe there is a camp, or there's a tank should be around thereabouts here, only on the way to the base camp. If memory is not failing me. Do we know where the ace is? I don't remember where the ace is. I think, I think it might be in the third area, though. There, and I can't quite reach it. Ah, uh, time! A poor scout. Piggy, get up! Go, go, go! 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 ダイヤの禁止としてはね。ダイヤの禁止としてはね。スマートに行くぞ。I'll be smart about things. It's when grades would one-shot scouts. Right, your turn, Riella. Yatta! Damn. We'll see ya. You won! See you there. Alright. Go on, Imka. <laughs> you had one job and she didn't want to do it. She told you. Good thing that wasn't my last CP. <laughs> not gonna lie, Imka's not leaving the best impression. So fast! You know. <laughs> see? See? This, 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 was my, this was my rough first impression with Imka. I was like, mm, I'm not sure about this one. The attacks are so precise. Misses the first hit. <laughs> this is Kurt trying to be nice. He is. He's he's he's, he's given that he doesn't that a bit of the doubt. Stay there. The ace might also just be closer in this area. I think. <laughs> Where the tank is. If I'm remembering correctly. Smart on you, so. 
相手が悪かったな腹にためた力を使うぜI like how Riala ducked. Yep. <laughs> 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 Had to be safe. Right. Let's fight. Not that I really think I need to, because I really Did just need to okay. capture the camp that's by that shock trooper and then I can leapfrog from there. This side is just kind of a waste. Otherwise, just to, otherwise just to get a Inca a footing in. I'll at least have Kurt handle this guy. Yeah, it's kind of right with the uh, ace what with the ace uh tank weapon I have for now uh, a lot of light tanks that can be uh destroyed in one shot from the front due to its uh higher verse uh, armor and only light tanks have about 400 HP or so and I only have like 250 front defense so yeah I'm the dumb Dang. At least I uh, didn't kill her. Let's see if get to the back. Okay! Good! Fonts can take care of the rest. You sir took care of the rest. He's gonna be doing that for a little while with a uh, machine gun, a support fire. And that spits me out over there in front of that tank. Good, good, good. We should have a pretty clear shot from here if I move, use me starting here. Swap and. Hidely ho, neighborino! What was the reference to the formula again? Uh, you say. Oh yeah.
Nice. Yeah, yeah, this is gonna be very solid for a little, for a while. Well, you tried, Mr. Scout. Go on, I dare you to attack! I dare you. I double dog dare you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as good as the APC clip, but that's pretty good. There was no snow here. Based. All right. Wow. Having a scout bet this early in the game is going to be very nice.帝国軍拠点を制圧。防衛をガリア正規軍に引き継ぎ次第祈祷する。クルタが隊長と認められて命令系統が安定したな。これでやっと招待として正常な動きができそうだ。あとはエースだな。彼女が主力として使えたらこ
君は自分でネームレスへの入隊を選択したと聞いたもう2年もこの舞台にいることもだ<笑>俺はこう考えた君は何か目的があってこの舞台にいるのではと<笑>ないとは言わないんだな答える必要がないではここからは独り言ではなく君に提案をさせてもらう俺と取引をしないかもし君に何か目的がありそれを果たす時が来た場合俺とネームレスは必ず君に協力するその交換条件として今君の力を俺に貸してくれないか俺は生き延びて懲罰恩赦を勝ち取りネームレスを出ていきたいそのためには絶対に君の力が必要なんだ君にとってこの体が少しでも必要な存在ならば悪い話ではないはずだがなくはないうんそれは取引に応じるということかよく聞け一度しか言わないイムカえ名前約束の証だお前が約束を守る限りこちらもお前を裏切らない君の名はイムカというのか名乗ったということは俺を信用してくれるんだな約束の解消は認めない破れば命の保証はない了解した改めてクルト・アービング少尉だよろしく頼むイムカセブン指揮権は認めるがお前は取引相手に過ぎないお前の名を呼ぶ理由も呼ぶつもりもない分かったそれでいい現状においては十分な結果だこれで戦える体制は整った The squad's future looks bright chapter 2 of 20 Cassius bright Have you heard the good word? ネームレスはガリア中部の重要拠点アソロン市を制圧したこれにより中部と南部に展開する帝国軍の連携が弱体化する帝国軍の進行速度は低下し一気に首都攻撃を狙う計画は修正が必要となり中部戦線は膠着し始めるのだった。I'm guessing right now would be about the time of、uh, the stuff going on at Barius in VC1. That's correct. Actually, no, we're about to be a little bit earlier than that. Okay. Wazawai no Karas. Chapter 3 The Calamity Raven. Gogatsu Jojun. Gariagun no Hanko Saksen. Calamity Cross. 中部戦線は停滞していたタイスル帝国軍はガリア北西部への進行作戦を開始ガリア全土の半分が帝国軍の占領下に入るのも時間の問題だった Still early March. It's a militia regiment. So, you finally understand what it means to be in the hashtag millennials. <laughs> Close enough with this crew. Yeah. Thank、you
We should have plenty of time, as long as we, uh, use our brains, our noggin. Apes together strong, after all. At least they're interested. Let's begin the operation! We are now starting the push to help the militia of the Central Galley in front as they are locked in battle with the Imperials. We're heading off from Melvare, then passing through the canyon heading east. We will have 96 hours for this operation. Once on the road, we need to eliminate all enemies around the minefield so we can take their supplies. Based on my plan, after eliminating the enemies and joining through the minefield, we'll join forces with the militia. After meeting with the Galleon Militia 3rd Regiment, we must still win the battle. This is our mission. Bert, you still haven't addressed the elephant in the room. Clarissa joins the party. We can now use direct command with Kurt. And Kurt Irving is now an ace unit. R&D is now level 2, and we can now make some uh, new weapons. About time. So yeah, we have a new character, and uh, they, they join uh, at set intervals. Here's the first. Kurt has become an excellent leader! So they say that you can assign CP, and while that is true, we can't do that yet. That's just a mistranslation. We will be able to do that later. Like in VC2, assign a CP unit, assign someone in the party to be a CP unit. What did she do to get sent here? Use her and find out! And I will be, because I like Corellius a lot. Like the so, little zone that's marked with skull and crossbones. Yeah. Minefield. So yeah, uh, very good that Ali been promoted to a uh, scout vet already. I did have to, I did use her a lot and with the intention of hoping that she'd be won by either this chapter or chapter four. But yeah, by now, that's very good. Very, very good. So, uh, yeah, she just, so she's got she's got slightly increased stats, I think, and mainly a uh, hundred more AP. So, what are the what are the requirements again for that to happen? Uh, basically, just use the character a whole bunch. Uh, have them kill enemies, capture bases, heal and heal allies, that sort of thing. It's not like there is a bar that you can fill up to know it's about to happen. It just has to happen. It just has to happen. It's also based on class. Uh, some classes will level up faster than others. I don't feel about that. Yeah, I wish the game would have, would have a mean to tell you a class experience. That'd be a nice quality of life addition if this game were ever to be re-released or something or a patch or something. But alas, we're all taken. Um, I'm going to learn resupply.
You know what game is out now? Tactics over? Tactics over. Yeah! Yeah, I realized right before the, uh, the stream started that I forgot to download it when it unlocked at noon. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, you see, uh, Allie is out. Some a little bit more H HP and definitely some more uh, AP now. That's good. Get in there, girl. Um. Hopefully she'll learn the other two, uh, the, her next, uh, potential soon. I forget what it, what, what it is for Scout Vet. Uh, I can look it up, though. In the master table. Resist boost, okay. So that's just the fixed chance for that to happen. But I should probably get it at some point. If I use it right now. So weird that it's... They went from... You know, you get stuff at fixed levels too. Everything's random. It, it, I, there's a little bit of consistency that I get, wish the games would be be hard, uh, harder locked in on. It's kind of, eh. But uh, I'll, yeah, I I'll, suppose I'll... I suppose it makes different playthroughs different at the same time, but. It seems weird, you use a unit a lot, and the RNG just doesn't work in your favor, and you don't learn any potentials hey, as quickly as somebody else. what's that? Developing weapons? So we can make, so occasionally at certain points of the game, you can make uh, new types of weapons, and this will unlock a certain class. It's a sniper rifle! Never heard of it. What's that? <laughs> so yeah, this this buying that weapon unlocks a sniper class for people to use now. Lucky key. That's uh plus evasion. Grenade. Grenades. Sniper. Flame car. Medallion. Alright, what do I have for tank stuff? Turret accessories. And now we're running into maps that have, uh, Weather effects that we can negate with uh, certain accessories. Medium tank. Yes. Yes, indeed. Gimme. Oh, it can break ice. Yeah, as a <laughs> default <laughs> default feature. The medium tank has less uh, AP, but, but higher stats overall. Lamp. Front armor. Yes, constructor arm. <laughs> Good, now we can make bridges. Nice ammo. I'll wait to buy those when I finish my session. At least the dark red stuff. The accuracy on this is, even though it's 30 shots, it's lousy at 45. Uh, I'm using the medium tank despite the lower AP because I want, um, I just want, I just love my medium tanks, and this gives me more uh, put stuff to put on stuff with for. Uh, now for now. And I believe no, the structure is too. Sorry. My camo. It didn't equip the arm. Oh, it did not. Nope. Oh, whoops. Yep. I think I think you hit the button twice and it equipped and unequipped. My bad. Right, so here's Clarissa. 
She's an NG. That face. She's a, she's a good kid. Uh, she has a pure heart. Accuracy up around when around one or more close friends. An equal heart. Accuracy goes up when around non galleon units. Starcrossed when receiving an interception fire. Defense goes down. His shadow has a chance, set chance for accusation to go down. Her uh, preferred classes are NG and Armor Tech. So, uh, speaking of uh, change classes, I will be making use of this right away. The fact that we have access to snipers. Have at it. You too. Snipers now. But your shield. I'll make someone else into uh, armor tech to compensate. Ah. I have enough medics right now I can afford to uh, make Versa armor tech. Even yeah. though her, her HP is a little low for being an armor tech right now, but I don't. I, I kind of just want to have it for now. I'll grind her up as an NG off screen. We must have the war cleric. All right, so we have a free mission here. Wipe out remnants. Mepple residents are under attack by the remnants of the Imperial squad. To ensure the safety of civilians occupied the base cabin area three. Scout, shock, NG, combat APC. Case is uh, an APC there. Cheat the loader. After the base cabin. I think this is another uh, mission we'll have to do twice in order to get both uh, weapons. I'm gonna make a stupid joke right now. Sheeta would be a loader. She wouldn't let anybody die. Kirkpa. Yella. Nope. Oops. Once there. Everyone, guess how many chapters of Hajime no Ippo I have left? Zero. One. Sixteen. Ten. Ah! Well, I was right if you put a zero at the end of mine. No, Ray was closest. Oh. So he wins. Congratulations. And he wins the satisfaction of winning. That's the best prize of all. Yeah. Uh, the best prize is you get to go spin the big wheel. Hmm. It's true. Nine <laughs> units. Up. I don't know how the PSP does it. It doesn't. It's gonna buckle and crash. No. Nah. So yeah, this map is nighttime. Put the lamp on so my accuracy will not be reduced in this area. We also have SP now! I can, uh, now I can be able to explain one of the nicest, the coolest, raddest features of uh, Valkyrie Chronicles 3, but I don't. I think we actually need to go into the main mission first in order to be able to. No, I can't! I can do it right here. Great! Excellent! Wonderful! Based as hell. Uh, before that, I need to uh, check the turn rank for this. Two turns for us. Okay. Kurt would be based. Based on what? 
Alright, first things first, I'm gonna move Sark first to get a lead in for lead in first. And you can see the uh, my my hitbox increases now than medium tank. You should see heavy tanks, it's hilarious. That engineer is listed as a medic. So now that I have the structure form, I can build stuff if I need to. With the tank. It's cool. So, uh, special abilities are uh, given to the main characters, really. When we get, and you get uh, the main one to start off with, with uh, Kurt's direct command. Direct Command is a pretty fun skill, in that uh, the main pr purpose of it is that it uh, gathers up, allows uh, other two other units to follow Kurt around, and they follow, uh, they get pulled along beside him. And then, then when you're allowed, when you machine an attack with a uh, Kurt, uh, the other characters that you are followed you will uh, join in as well. Even car even classes that normally cannot counterattack, like. Uh, Lancer or Sniper. Armor Techs cannot counter, though. Or Fencers. Badge. You think... I mean, I get melee versus... Like... But, uh, depending on how far away from the enemy you are... They can do it with, uh... You know, whether you can actually counterattack with, uh... You know being out of range or in range with guns, so I don't see why I couldn't do physical weapons. Some extra perks to know about Direct Command is that, uh, well, any spe as well as any special ability, really, uh, for, well, mainly for any special ability, when you uh, use it, uh, you full heal and restore all of your AP, uh, as long as you're in duration of uh, your uh, special command. However, no potentials can activate for that character. And in Kurt's case, when he uses Direct Command, his AP is fixed to 450 minimum, regardless of what class he is. So he, uh, since it requires him to actually have uh, sprinting resistance, so he'll, he'll need to be base scout. If you want to have enough AP as base scout, if you want to actually make fuller into this ability, uh, recommend trying out uh, scout vet or scout elite Kurt, and then you can have lots of AP to move around with. This in exchange for just raw stats. Fun, fun little thing to go. And the best part about this ability is the music that plays. With me. Me and the boys. With me. Out here making me and the boys. Kurt out here making his, uh, getting his tuner monster ready to synchro summon. Hmm. I'm gonna hack into your save file and place this music with the adva Advanced Wars Days of Ruin special music. Yeah, he's got the aura yeah. on um, like him like he's about to perform a synchro summon. It's pretty How funny. Could you, Christian? Yeah! <laughs> It's close. Dang. Targeting reticle is so much. Ugh. Damn it. Oh, I'm gonna reset that. That sucks. Kso. Nani got tarina katanda. No, Kurt, you didn't miss. They missed. <laughs> That's bummer. You don't miss. Except when they do. Wow. 
And this is like an extra mission, but that's super weird. Ooh, just instant uh, ailment really nice. <laughs> Chris! <laughs> It's true. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty accurate if you ask me. Based, based on what? <laughs> Tell me a shrimp rod this rice. Armin complex, really? I find it quite simple. <laughs> he is a genius after all. Search through my meme templates and making this and found this <laughs> good old goodie. Wrong. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's pretty accurate. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying out that new Vanguard demo. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's like good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so far. <laughs> you sounded like you had quite the, the shake on your voice there. It's good. <laughs> it's, I'm still in the middle of a match. It's very intense. Ooh. The tutorial. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try this again. It's certainly a tutorial. The music is great. Two hearts become one. Three hearts become one. <laughs> Shinkro Shokan! Ah, those dragon! He was such a good guy. He was such a good guy. One limitation to know about direct command is that uh, if you have to uh, transfer to a ladder or so something, your characters will stop following you. We found the ace. She'd have left her wing spirit helm. Otherwise, she'd be a tank. Even the scout wasn't trying to be a scout. Nice try. I have one. Yay! Yeah. It's a. Uh, yeah. It's interesting because it's going off of uh, overdress rules, and I'm more used to uh, the format before then. But I still actually got the hang of it because of my experience. That's good. Good to hear. Yeah. So get this right. Ah. We actually have a ride deck next to your uh, main deck, and it has three cards. One grade one, one grade two, one grade three. Ah. Guess what you do with it? 
Essentially, uh, you can choose to ride one card from that side deck onto your vanguard uh, during your turns, as long as you discard a card when you do it. All right. So it's basically a guaranteed ride, which is really good because this game's biggest problem is consistency. <laughs> yeah, it basically did it for consistency reasons. Yeah, it's, it's great. I like it. That's cool. That's really nice. Yeah. Also, let me take a picture of the main well, character. Mine. Here she is. It's a neat design. Yeah. Uh, she has an outfit outside of, the, outside of the school outfit, of course, but she's in it right now. Her head is very tiny. Yeah, a little bit. It is extremely small. That's an extremely small head. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, her hair is pretty wide. Yeah. I think part of it might be the neck is kind of thin. Yeah. Let me let me get some other designs next to her. Let me try this. Yeah. Yeah. Andy Dom. Nice. Pops in, says hello, leaves. Here's Mark's character. The one on the right looks like a uh, looks like Tristan's brother. How do you know what my brother looks like? I said Tristan, not Kristen. Oh. Mission complete. Mission complete. Katana. Mina. I guess I'm done. <laughs> Game bad. over. That's it. You only have yeah. to wait like a week. Yeah, it's not bad. I like it. I might, uh, I might screw around with it later. Probably not tonight, though, because I got dignity. Didn't. Uh, I got another thing to get, so I'll just do this real quick. Ride the Vanguard! Dragonic Valkyria! Oh, that's not kind of metal, actually. <laughs> oh, uh, speaking of, uh, do you know what, uh, what clan you want to run, Ron, when that game comes out? And DD? Uh, so in the main game, I used to run Royal Paladin and Gold Paladin, so I'll probably go, like, Royal. Rose very reliable. I also run Dimension Police as well, because, you know, giant robots in Brave Series. <laughs> I have no idea what Overdress has done with them in uh, recent years, so I probably okay. will just go Royal. I stopped kind of following because we I ordered some of the early Overdress stuff for the store, and we had people playing, and then they kind of stopped playing, so I stopped ordering stuff. Uh. Yeah, so I guess I'll go Royal, because, you know, Royal is a main clan. It's always supported, and it's always very reliable. Also, uh, in the game, uh, they, have, they let you have, like, special skills that affect your gameplay. For example, you have a, a skill that gives you a higher chance of pulling a draw trigger during a damage or a, a drive check. Spooky. I'm not sure how that works exactly, but there's also another skill that let, that guarantees you win rock, paper, scissors. Nick Keith liked this post. <laughs> really funny. Alright, I got a VVPL. This is just a flat upgrade to the land car for quite some time. Yeah, this one is going to Inca. Oh, so there's one in. And I got another uh, tank weapon. 
Yeah, the MG turret. So, uh, only 100 range, this one, but still, still a little bit better. The same accuracy as the one I have right now, but less range. But has pretty nice versus armor and 30 shots. This can actually do some decent uh, tank damage if it uses, if it uses on the APC. Do, do we have the return of the, uh, the, the legendary VC2 tank weapon? <laughs> Very, it, it, you get one that's close to this, but you need the right setup for it to like actually have the VC2 stats uh, similar to the uh, captured anti-armor gadling. I know Duck Duck found it when I was watching him play, but uh, but it won't come until like chapter 13, I think. Check. Okay, well, let's continue then. Chapter 3, March to the Front. Scouts found Imperial units near the plains of Methyl. In order to f find a path through the minefield, eliminate all enemies in all areas. Take caution as into reports the enemy has deployed snipers. Yeah, there it is. Scout, Shock, Lancer, NG, and Sniper. The ace is Holy Bless. Now well, that's a... Uh, that's a name. Holy Blessed. Route the enemy to this one. I, I didn't know that the uh, the innovators uh, were the enemy in this game. It's definitely interesting. <clears throat> They're like brand new clans. Yeah. I, I noticed when I was using uh, what I assumed was a Royal Paladin cards, uh, they, they weren't exactly uh, what I expected them to run that like. But they're still pretty good. Yeah, now they can properly explain how to use the Drake Command, which uh, went over the main details. Direct Command is great, especially in the early game, because it's the only special command uh, you have access to. Uh, better if you uh, uh, take the fullest uh, extent of trying to use it, so like, overextend Kurt, uh, you have him as a scout, have him learn anti-intercept, uh, so you can have it and make the full use of just having him, have him even be out there, and then full heal him when you where you want to pop the command with other units you buy, and then just have him sprint. Having it just happen to do that so you can just sprint forward is also just a good use of uh, using direct commands since it also restores his AP. I find that SP doesn't regen was kind of a let letdown in this one. And yeah, it's, some, it's been based on mission. We only have one use of it for this map. I suppose that part makes sense. That's for four turns. But, uh... They really said, Hmm, scout rushes weren't broken enough. Can we break them even more? They can be absurdly... Uh, direct command can be absurdly jacked in the right scenario, so... Team attack! Right? 
Shot. Zerg is a fair and balanced character. <laughs> like, if they're in this early game section, I think he's more useful than uh, Lavinia is in DC2. Damn, that's funny. Yeah. Lavinia is bloodthirsty, too. Yeah. It definitely feels wonky with the emulator here. Uh, I wonder if there's settings I can do with streams to change this. Uh, I think there is like a set here with a rendering mode, but it requires me to restart the emulator. I don't want to flip that right now. Good for next session. Nice. Cool. I wonder if I can do it again. He was kind of far away anyway. Got a game for kills at least, so she can at least get the Lance Vet. Just so I could say I used her before she become before Fencer becomes available. At least Fencer takes a little while before it actually does become available. There's the ace, holy blessed. You know, I think it'd be kind of interesting if they ever made a, another Valkyria Chronicles game to do a kind of hybrid, uh, like hybrid class character. Mm. Like, could kind of is with like her gun like can change the different modes effectively but if instead of being locked into whatever class you were in you could switch between those modes at will i mean you'd have to negatively balance it somehow yeah so yeah, yeah, yeah instead of the benefits of a lancer and a gunner and a fencer all at once you know obviously like super low ap or something would probably be needed or i don't know It'd be hard to balance, but I think it'd be interesting to see them try something like that. Yeah. Maybe change it up and make it so that, uh... The things that the gun could do would, you know, prevent you from being able to use interception fire at all. You know? So they'd strictly be a player turn character. Put EMPs in a game and we'll talk. There's the ace immediately up in front. I like how Kirk can intercepting fire the scout, but he can't counterattack him. He's, you know, borderline with this sort of thing. Ouch. You know, times like that, I kind of wish you could, like, direct your character not to pop out of the grass. Stay hidden. Don't, don't engage. Oh, boy. 
Cursed today with the uh -huh. amount of sub tens you've left people I with. I have been cursed. In mind? Yeah, I'm putting up his middle finger right now. Stand by. Annika, show your stuff. Bitch, stop, bulls! Holy blessed. He is no longer blessed. That's what you get for hanging out with Revive Revival. Mm hmm. I think the coolest name of them all is still Divine Nova. That sounds like a Final Fantasy Final Boss attack. <laughs> Easy in that game. We had a, a moment. It uh, appears we were fine. I was worried that was... Yeah. yeah. I feel like Josh. <laughs> I was like, did my, my connection's already gone down once during this recording. Mm. I was worried it did it again. Like we're good, Chief. Sniping's a good job, mate. Looked over, saw the shield, said, Nah, I'm not gonna waste my bullet. On one hand, my mechanics brain is thinking, What if, uh... What if the shield had durability, or you had sniper rounds that could pierce through shields? Fortunately, neither of those things exist in this game. Armor types do not need a nerf. Yeah, the fact that they can't counter is already enough of a problem, I guess.
should I know her voice from somewhere? It sounds really familiar. Ah, she was zero two. That's why I recognize her. Wait, who is it? Uh, all yes is zero two and Darling in the Franks. Oh, that 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 tracks. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, she was also in Double O. Hmm. Been a bunch of stuff. Not all the stuff I've watched, but a bunch of stuff. I may, I may be pure of heart, but Warhammer or Warpick. Let's see if they're smart enough to try to go from the back. Tried TM. Oh, backup sniping is a nice one. Have. Increase personnel and accuracy while uh, in rear distance. Very nice. Cool. So you can't see them sometimes. Yeah, yeah it's, the, 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 it's due to the rendering of the emulator, it's uh. Basically, feel the vision that I have to fiddle with. I see. Yeah. It's different. It's a different problem than what VC2 has when you emulate it. Hmm. Approved. Yeah, that was uh, that was clean. That was very clean. Yeah, it did well. Got a ZM34. A bond was added. We got our first uh, side mission. Oh. Well, hello there. The Emperor. Hmm. この要塞での暮らしに不便はございませんか。くだらぬことを気にするな。貴様は勝つことだけを考えておればよい。は、失礼いたしました。悪い、遅くなった。
殿下の王政のままにでは揃ったところで私から宣教報告を始めさせてくれ北部方面軍は北部の中心地ファウゼン攻略を目指し周辺地域制圧を進行中です沿岸地域及び港湾施設の接収も完了しいラグナイト
does feel kind of weird that we're already doing another dis destroy supply crate mission after we just did one, like, last chapter. So here's the ZM-34. Uh, stronger personnel and uh, accuracy and range. The range is very good, but less versus armor. It's not like you were going to be shooting armor with it anyway, right? Nah. The 45 is only good for, like, APCs in the back. That's it. Set. S-Rank is four turns. This doesn't lower AP. Uh. We avoid the fire emblem. Alright, Kurt, you go this way. The rain sigil. <laughs> Out of range. Of range already immediately apparent. I bet. I, I think this is another reused map. Yes, it is. Yeah. Can you traverse the water or no. not? Okay. You cannot traverse the water. Uh, this map, at least in VC2, uh, there is when it's daytime. There's a water here, so you can go across. Yeah, because yeah. I noticed on the mini map it's all filled in down there. Lighting nice. Stay hit the enemy. I just didn't trip over that mine. That's lucky. You're also just in the grass by like a pixel. <laughs> Seems that's that's <laughs> that's uh not the, that is incorrect. <laughs> I've got it the perfect formation. It's gonna be rough. Yeah. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. Good luck. Oh. This <laughs> is <laughs> perfectly fine. <laughs> the expected result. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, it couldn't have been avoided. This damn 
hit, it's those damn hit scan lances again. Lancers. <laughs> Chef to save the day. I got to know. What is the Man, that just always heals one hundred and fifty. Dang. That is uh, very nice on people with lower health. Technology. It's nice the grenades aren't just like completely useless against Lancers now, though. Somehow we salvaged it. Now that's real blessed. <laughs> you might say it's holy blessed. Indeed. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ugh. Just short. Just shy. Ready? <laughs> That's neat. You can mouse over the uh, thing and it takes you to that map for that front. That poor soldier. All of a sudden, a tank just teleports on top of him and then he dies. He's doing his job. You know, or like... not. <laughs> and then. Aimbot like... hacks. the turn limit for this? Four. That Chuck Trooper will eventually be able to do something. I don't know what. Probably oh, it's swim by the mine. Enemies can never trigger their own minds. I mean, it's smart pathfinding code, but it's kind of lame. Just push them onto it, lol. That would actually be funny. Smack them with a hammer and they'll fall onto it and blow up. Last two bullets, Kurt. SMH. Take it, Hakim. Oh, come on. ね。スマートに行こう。やってみます。負けられませんね。
Be gone, found container. I know those, those warning signs don't look too pleasant. You sure you want to flap that with a hammer? Be up gone, closer? container. It looks like a it looks like a nitro box from Crash Games. <laughs> Just a little bit, yeah. Oh. Alright, we got through the container, now we get through the mines. I would put, I would put good faith in these maps, like if the enemy anticipated the, they would be absconded, then sure, it could be faulty, but, hmm. That's why you put some kind of code or cipher on them so that if the maps do fall into the wrong hands, you know, oh, shift all mine placements two meters to the left or something. No one dares to stop Riella from being suicidal. Very cool. Riella be nimble, Riella be swift. Riella granted everyone a great gift. That's a little bit extreme. Ah, uh, that's Merc's job. Yeah, I was supposed to say, found, we found Merc. <laughs> Kurt, very slightly dense about women. Like uh, a trademark for VC for Protex. <laughs> Do 
Happy. So I was like, ah, you're killing me here, Kurt. <laughs> Through the lines. Ah! Captain. Giyugun Dai Sanchu Tai Tai Chu. Ereno Abara Toda. Engun Kashasu. What up? Yoni Nibutai Tai Chu no seven des. Sasuk desna, thank you, Kakuni, or Sasate Itakemaska. Genzai Waga Taiwa, show me ni Fujin Sri Tekokugun no Ikodai Tai or Iteni. Kono Jinchi or Boe Chuda. Koko Hoki Sruto.帝国軍は再びバーゼル教を狙う足掛かりを得ることになる。絶対に引くことはできない。しかし、司令部に当先生の重要性を強く訴えたのだが、残念ながら理解は得られなかった。援軍が不十分だと。率直に言えばそうな
You only get the ace weapon drop on the north path. You don't get an accessory in that, or no, no accessory. As far from what I can see, there's a weapon for print though. South mission. On the way to join up with the Gallium Militia, we've encountered Imperial forces in the, inside the village. To proceed with the next join up mission, occupy the enemy's camp in Area 4. Be careful as then until reports of the enemy will be bombing the area with mortars. Yay. Scout, shock, NG, sniper, light tank type A. So I do believe we got a new. Yeah, we got two. So this is just what we got what we picked up last map. Uh, it is a little bit more powerful, especially versus armor rating, and more accurate. But uh, I lose out on my uh, cannon or my uh, Gatling, so. So that says both on the uh, the. The one Gatling there. I assume that means you can throw it on an APC then. Yes. The, if, it's a, if it says if it says tank, that means only the tank can equip it. Aimless have been busy today. Asterisk has four turns. Oh, I can't remember this map. Yeah, I remember it too. It's a classic. I'm, I'd be very curious to know how many new maps they actually added. There's quite a few, eh? but but a, a lot of it early, especially early on, is back is back loan from VC2. But the new stuff comes quite a bit later. Damn. I don't know how they didn't just make a button to jump over the Cold sandbags. They have a button for crouch. The eternal mystery. And no one for jump. Take it, get you can go. 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 I am gonna go grab my dinner. I will be back in a few minutes. Alright. Ready. Makase Yeah, 
I don't think it's come up yet, but armor techs do not actually uh, pull their shield if they're lying prone. Something to look out for. Four HP. You come. Ate. Take it, get you. there were mortars in this area, but uh, they neglected to mention that these are special kind of mortars in this game. See that red area that's on the map there? Those yeah. are live fire zones. Ah. Uh, makes sense. Once you cross the red area, you will be constantly bombarded with mortar fire. And they hit random spots along the area. You'll have to tr try and make sure to uh, duck and die, dive against them. It's like Dragon Dodge Grenadier fire in VC4. Crawling or going through trenches will uh, allow you to avoid taking damage, though. Once again, impressed that the PSP can handle this. Like so. And the mortars harm the tank. No, not these anyway. Uh, typically, I'm pretty sure most mortars just cannot harm your uh, tank anyway. APC, oh, sure, but not tanks. The, the, the armor's too, typically too. Too sturdy. Water Gone. Damn. It feels so weird that they, the uh, sniper zoom in is so small. Yeah, it gets better, but for now. Accuracy, you just kind of have to deal with it. Oh, hey. The ongoing arc in the Pokemon anime has ended. Yes, it has. For real? Yeah. Damn, for real? All over. 
forever. I mean, <laughs> the ongoing arc. It's not. It's gonna keep going until. Um, no, no, no. They're they're never making another one ever. Uh, December. <laughs> like in the current, you know. I understand. Season or such. Well, that's only a few more episodes potentially, depending on when in December. Good. December 9th. I did think it was absolutely stupid that the official Pokemon Twitter spoiled the, uh, the stuff from the episode, even though it hasn't aired over here yet, I don't think. No, this is Japan only. Yikes. And Val, uh, Anna said it's kind of hurting right now. Firing stance. That's pretty hard to learn for a base shock trooper since it, it, has, it has a fairly low chance of procking. Like, I went through the, my entire first playthrough without Kurt learning it, for, for reference. Yikes. And I never changed them out as a shock trooper. It can only be done from firing while uh, crouching, so. Once again, hurting. Shit's fucked. I dared. Who dares wins. Fight who dares wins. Who dares to dream. Credit to the team. Being beaten up by a medic. <laughs> Leave her alone. <laughs> I'm a healer, but. A healer, but. Let's do a prototype for the bombardiers. The grenadiers. 
I just have to distract them. Still two with a uh, bit to the back. Oh, damn, that's that's low. I'm gonna move alley. That is very cool. Oops, sorry, Ali. First class. <laughs> Something very comical about that. Where he's just thrown off his feet. Handsome man. Hello. <laughs> Get up. Holy shit! Whoa. Damn, I shredded him. Care. They're here to save the day. The genius tactician, by the way. Brilliant. Um, I'm actually a chuff. That didn't work. I miss my. I'm gonna miss the last rank. AP use up on him for all the good that does.
Just slipped through my fingers. So immaculate. Nothing else to buy around here, is there? Empty. So this one's a doozy. On the way to join up with the Gallium Militia, we've encountered Imperial forces in a forest. Proceed with the next join up mission, lock by the enemy base camp in Area 3, and teleport to the enemy one bar with the Area of Mortars. And we still have to do the... Hiding escape. We still have to do... Die! <laughs> do the main mission after this. Uh... I think so. You know what? I think we'll see this for next time. Good call. If you were gonna start up, I was gonna say, well, I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there yeah, there are two more maps. Yeah. For the chapter. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna stop now. Uh so yeah, um actually since I saved on a second separate slot, I think I'm gonna try uh, I didn't get the accessory here. I'm gonna actually try to either S rank this, see what happens, or I get it uh, get it later. If not, I'm just gonna do this one instead and get the ace weapon here, just so I can have it. I forget what the accessory is anyway, and uh, I'm gonna do some extra f f uh, fair set of grinding as well, just so we can uh, get uh, ready for the final mission for chapter three, and especially for chapter four, because the difficulty ramps up quite a bit at once we hit chapter four. So I'd like to be a little bit more prepared for that. <laughs>